Hola, welcome back. We are here again with Pleone. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. In the glorious, glorious uh, Moonlight Crossing the Game, the visual novel about moths and a spaceship. And uh, between this episode and last one, there was a comment by the game creator. And I can pull it up right here. It is from... Mr. Ario Radid Geo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. He says, hello, um, head developer popping in. I'm glad you're enjoying our game. I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you slow down the tech speed to be, well, um, anything less than max in the preferences menu, it'll make it more obvious when a line is a continuation of the previous line. Me and the effects guy, SFX guy, or sound effects guy, actually put in little text bloops for each character that play while text is typing out to. So, you might like that. Okay. Thank you. Now that we know that, I can go over here, let's get back into the game. And we can go to this text speed, click it, reduce it down to like that. Let's turn the... There you go. Okie dokie, click back on that. So now that we got that out of the way, we can get back to the game. Time to let Sakura know I'll be arriving soon. And, uh filler for last episode um but we are currently I, th I believe sakura is the lolly the little green the green one she's the one she wants the book then we have the other girl in the bar place she wants a bottle of wine and i think that's that's what we're looking towards right now and then we have ho ho or ho oh uh the bird the bird lady she Needs us to go help other people so she can help us build the plane or the airplane or the spaceship to go to the moon. Anyway, dear Sakura, how are things on the moon? We had a big human thingy drop from the sky last night. Melia says that it's a ship news to fly to the moon. Okay, Melia is the green one. Sakura is someone else we're messaging, I think. I don't know how these things work, but Kikakaya Kikakaya thinks that she can use some magic to fix it up. If I get people invested enough in my success, Okay, she can use some magic to fix it up if I get enough energy. We gotta get, everybody has to give us, lend us their energy so we can solve the world's problem of the spaceship thingy that landed on, the, on our planet. Got it. I got the idea from Kika that maybe if I got my sisters what they wanted... That maybe they then they'd want me to succeed in getting to the moon. But Atina got upset that I was thinking of leaving, and I looked into Amelia's head without asking and said some things that got her a bit mad. I'm not sure if I can succeed in this, but I'm going to try my hardest anyway. I hope I can see you soon. Love. Pleone. All right, I made a copy with carbon paper and time to burn it. Okay. The first time I sent Sakura a letter, it was on accident. Uh oh. I wrote a letter about, I don't remember, but I was upset and wanted to vent. Ah. Uh. Looks like she wrote one of those uh, angry letters that you're supposed to dispose of. But it looks like she uh, kind of forgot about that part. 
and actually hit the sent button for the equivalent of sending it, apparently setting it on fire. Yeah, then I burned it because it'd be like burning my problems away. That makes sense. That actually makes sense. That's what I'd do. But then I found a reply in my house a few, a few days later. That'd be interesting. Oh. To Miss Pleone of the Silk Forest. I apologize if you were not expecting an actual reply, but I felt it was appropriate. My name is Sakra, and I am a den denizen, denizen of the heavens you envy so, residing on the moon. I noticed some unusual smoke in the atmosphere with the strong, sad sentiment and pulled it together with my magic. I am a rabbit fairy, one among many that reside here on the moon. I work with my familiars and my fellow denizens to ensure that the moon keeps moving properly so that the tides in the human world go regularly. And frankly... I'm bored out of my mind. Hardly anyone visits, and I have very little, if any, contact with the outside. I want to know what other people and places... Okay, what other people and places are like outside of this secluded little satellite. So if you could continue to send me letters, I would very much appreciate it. Thanks for reading, Sakura. That was how I first met her. Well, if you could call it a meeting. Anyway, let's go searching. Wait, huh? There's a picture here on my desk of that poet sitting in the silk glades. I remember that was his favorite spot to write. Maybe his book was left there. What What's that you've got on your talons? Or in your talons? It's my super shiny searcher mark II. A shiny what? The super shiny searcher mark II for all the metal detecting needs. It's the cutting edge of metal detector technology. Like a dowsing spell? Sort of. It doesn't use magic, though. You can douse for stuff without magic now? Yep. Well, kind of, sort of. It's not super specific, and it needs to find... Or, and it just finds metals. Could I have that? You know I'm using it to find some primo loot right now. But you know... If you can find something sufficiently primo yourself, of course, I'll let you borrow it. It's got to be super shiny, though. Got it. So this is the Silk Glades, kind of a rainbow forest e place. And here we are at the Silk Glades. This is where we have the silk worms of the forest live and spill in their silk. With a little magic guidance, we can trade it with humans if we ever need money for anything. That's why we have stuff like Melia's fancy garden and cottage, and Atina's bar, because we paid for them with silk, essentially. But, or, hmm, but, is there anything here? Yep, yep. Aw, look, it's a little bug. It's like an actual moth. Oh, it's my, it's my little familiar, Kapolos, gone out to protect the forest. Yep. What's that? You found some things? A big blob of silk, and is that something shiny? That shiny thing. Maybe Kika might like this. Thanks for being such a good boy. Yep. I hope. Kabolos is shows up again. He looked pretty adorable. Hey, Kika, I found a shiny. Yeah? Check this out. Cheap! Whoa, hang on. I want to trade this for a super shiny searcher. 
Oh right, you totally said that before, didn't you? Okay, there you go. Hand handed over shiny object. Received super shiny searcher. <laughs> Time to put this baby to work. You know, I just realized I never asked what she was going to do with that. Let's see, the poet's book was kept in a metal suitcase, as I recall, so time to give this super shiny searcher a shot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. It's reacting to the blob of silk from earlier. Guess there's something in it. Let's carefully take it apart and... A book! Let's see the name on it. Leon. Wasn't that? Yeah, that was the name of Melia's boyfriend. Guess I should hand this to her, so this looks like this is the book she's been looking for. Anyway. Melia! I found the book! You did find it. Where was it? The silk glade. It got wrapped up in some silk there. Anyway, here you go. This... Is dot 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 that good? Wait, you're still here? Um, yeah. Why can't you leave me alone? Or why can't you leave me be just for one brief moment? Are you unsatisfied that I, myself, am the only one to manage our affairs with the outside world? Or I must, or must I take all, up all the troubles of the forest as well before you give me peace? Man, I, I messed that one up. Um, I... And as for yourself, are you so desperate to leave us that you would abandon Atina and myself to scurvy off to the moon the moment I say it is theoretically possible? Are you going to leave us stars in your eyes and your head in the clouds and never for a moment think about all you're leaving behind? Uh... And above all else... You would be so desperate to receive my gratitude for the answering of a prayer long unheard that you would not allow me the simple act of experiencing the answer itself? And you would and you have the gall to Oh, she left. So, um, basically, you got all, you got all up in Melia's business, and she got super mad? Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not, it's nothing that some time wouldn't fix. Time basically heals everything, right? Sometime? Yeah. First, you wait until she's not, you know, Dan Maku mad, and then you apologize like crazy. Let's Google what Dan Maku means. Let's, let's search it. Dan Maku. Meaning. Dan Maku, literally bullet curtain of, or curtain fire, is a Japanese term for barrage, as in a barrage of bullets. So she is Dan Maku mad, describing that she is raining anger down upon us as she was talking to us in half third person. Um, the last time I got her mad like this, she uh, she wouldn't talk to me. She wouldn't talk to me normally for a hundred years. Whew. <laughs> what? A hundred years? Yeah, and you'll be dead by then. Err... Nah. Maybe you should go with the presents. 
or go with presents. Presents soothe the savage beast. But I'm, I mean, I just gave her one and it wasn't enough to make her happy with me. You gotta give her something super duper great that comes right from the heart. The heart? Well, you know, you said you got her a book of poetry, you know. Um, yeah, right. So... Now you should obviously go think really, really hard and give her the most poetic poetry you could ever poem in the history of poems. You think I could write poetry? Well, anybody can write poetry, old or young. You just have to give the meaning to the words buried in your heart. Right. Drill them out and excavate them like the humans do to all the resources they can. That's, uh, maybe a little too dark. Think of it more like, um, I don't know, generally shoving dirt into a metaphorical flower pot. Right. Rip out a heart and plant it. Um, eh, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Go forth and plant your heart. You got it. Yeesh. Time to write. Oh, there's a letter. Oh, we got another letter from Sakura. Pleone. It is exciting to hear that you might be able to reach the moon, but I am worried you might be making a mistake. The moon is, well, obviously very far away, and human transportation to it, while very sophisticated, is not entirely reliable and not for the faint of heart. Especially because you are using something cobbled together from a crashed ship. But in the event that you can make it here, you are more than welcome to stay. I would very much welcome a companion who could come here and be my friend, especially if there is someone as warm and exciting as you. So I look forward to you making it here, if you can. Stay safe, Sakura. Ooh! We get a, we get an option. So we got something traditional or something silly. I feel like Pleone would write something silly. So we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go with the something silly option. I'm not familiar with poetry, but you can write something silly with them, right? Melia, I have something for you. It's a poem. You couldn't manage to return Leon's book to me without taking a page for your own per per usual per usual per usual per usual per usual per usual per usual. Perusal. I think it's perusal. Give me that! Snatch! <laughs> it, it is, uh, what, what is... Oh, okay, it's not blank. Okay. I thought, I thought you just handed her a blank piece of paper. <laughs> That'd be a good one. My sister Melia is super bright. She helps me out all day and night. And now she's helped me to reach the sky. I know one day back to her I'll fly. Okay. I feel like I could, I could say that better. My sister Melia is super bright. She helps me out all day and night. And now she's helped me to reach the sky. I know one day back to her I'll fly. This... Ah, uh, my very own sister worked so hard to write a poem for me? Um, I'm right here. Pleone. These are horizons I would never believe you to be- Oh, man. I messed that one up. These are horizons I never believed you would gaze upon. 
Uh, I just wrote something that sounded right from the heart. You know, I'm proud of your new artistic exploits. Okay. So you're not mad at me? I'll gladly help you transcend to the moon to be with your love. Whoa. Oh, your love. Well, thank you. My love? <laughs> Clearly so, if she is important enough to cause you to give up life with your sisters. Er, I must let you rendezvous to your masseuse. Or muse. It's muse. Not masseuse. She's not going to go get a massage. At least that I know of. If you say so... That poem was extremely childish, and yet, it made me feel a bit better. Hey, Atina, you got anything with a Gion or a Gion? A Gion? A Gion? A Gion scent? I'm thinking of having Calibos try and sniff the thing he sent out. Okay. Looks like we just got past uh, one little mini arc. I'm going to pause it there. And until next time, don't forget to like the video if you would like to. Subscribe if you would like to and you haven't yet. And comment if you have any other news that has uh, flown over me. Like the text speed. Because I think it works a little bit better this way. For me, at least. And until next time, take care and I'll see you later.